Welcome to episode 31. When you put 31 into the 3n plus 1 procedure, it goes all the way up to 9,000 before eventually coming back down to 1. Okay, last time we looked at the factors of 3 to the x minus 2 to the x, uh, which broke down into inherited factors and newly introduced factors. For x equals 12, we inherit factors from all the divisors of 12. So we get this 5 from x equals 2, the 19 from x equals 3, and so on. We can think of this chart like a single ray of sunshine, along which factors get inherited. Since the inherited factors are predictable, we reduce this chart to just the newly introduced factors, which we called gx. We found that g of x is 1 mod x for all the prime x's, and also for the vast majority of composite x's, with only 47 exceptions in the first 10,000 values of x. How about 2 to the k minus 3 to the x? Here we have x along the left and k minus x across the top, with entries showing values of 2 to the k minus 3 to the x. We'd like to be able to say something about the factors for any x and k minus x in the chart, no matter where it is. Uh, just like here. But this chart looks pretty random. Let's see, there's a factor of 23 here and a factor of 23 there. Is that just a coincidence or do they have something to do with each other? It's not a coincidence because they both lie along a single ray of sunshine here in orange. Let's look at this yellow ray of sunshine. It starts at x equals 3, k minus x equals 2, where the value is 5. This 5 gets inherited as we multiply x and k minus x by 2, 3, 4, and so on. So all these cells have a 5. Now this 59 in the second position gets inherited by every other cell along this line, all the even numbered ones. And this 2617 gets inherited by every third cell. So inheritance tells us a lot about the factories, factors of something like this mystery cell. This diagonal is just like the chart for 3 to the x minus 2 to the x, except it's a diagonal. Uh, so if we straighten it up, we get this chart. Here we've again got inherited factors and newly introduced factors. So at x equals 18, k minus x equals 12, we inherit the 5 from x equals 3, k minus x equals 2, the 59 from here, and the 2617 from here. Instead of inheriting from the divisors of x, like with the old chart, now we inherit using the common divisors of x and k minus x. So counting along the ray of sunshine, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, is the same as counting the multiplier from uh, x equals 3, k minus x equals 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that's how we inherit factors for 2 to the k minus 3 to the x. We also have the newly introduced factors here. So we're going to call these numbers h of x, k minus x. If we only write down newly introduced factors, then we can simplify the 2 to the k minus 3 to the x chart. Similar to before, we find that h uh, values are 1 mod the greatest common divisor of x and k minus x, for sure when that greatest common divisor is prime. That's if you're a prime number of steps down the ray of sunshine. Looks like if you're a composite number of steps down, you're also probably one mod the GCD here in red. Um, and if we zoom out of this chart, we can see that uh, for sure H is one mod the GCD almost everywhere. There's very few exceptions here in red. This black part here is where three and plus one cycles have negative numbers. We don't care about negative cycles. Okay, so let's take a look at this orange ray of sunshine here. The 23 at x equals 2, k minus x equals 3 gets inherited here and here and infinitely more places along this infinite ray of sunshine. That means there's an infinite number of rays throughout this chart, each one starting at a place where x and k minus x are co-prime, which is a lot of places. Actually, about 60% of the cells start a new ray of sunshine, whereas for 3 to the x minus 2 to the x, there was only one ray of sunshine, and it started at the number 1. So 1 got inherited to every cell along the ray, but who cares about 1? We didn't even write it down. But over here, this ray starts with 23, so there's a bunch of 23s all along here. 
And this ray starts with 101, so there's a bunch of 101s along here. So what's up with these 23 and this 101 and this 5? Can we say something about them in terms of x and k minus x? Uh, is 101 1 mod something? All right, that's going to have to wait. For now, we can take something like 3 to the 33 over minus 2 to the 33 over 2 to the 77th minus 3 to the 33 and say, well, we might not know if this divides evenly, but we do know that it's g of 3 times g of 11 times g of 33 over h of 3, 4 times h of 33, 44. And we know that g of 3 is 1 minus 6, g of 11 is 1 minus 22, and h 3, 4 is 101 and stuff like that. So let's see if this helps us figure out why this fraction and all the other fractions like this never divide evenly. See you next time.